According to the 2016 Ubos report, Uganda has 1.4 million people living with disabilities, constituting 12.4% of the population. Fatia Mseniro, a senior sex vacist with visual impairment and hearing challenges, shared the difficulties she faces. For a person living with disability, of course, apart from the normal daily challenges, you're going to face a lot of criticism from people, um, diminishing and underestimating. Um, you're going to be denied of opportunities because people um, underestimate your capability and abilities to do stuff. Mosenira affirmed her determination to achieve her goals of advocating for people with disabilities at various levels, despite her disabilities. I see myself standing up for girls like me, standing up for girls in the world. I see myself on big stages, on global stages, speaking for my gender and speaking for my kind. Esther Mulongo, also a senior sex student, faces similar challenges while using a wheelchair. It has been a quite, a, quite challenging when the things are not, such stuff are not provided. There are those parts that in the classes that are not easy to access and all that. But then, luckily, I have been provided with such. During the closure of the Girls Education Challenge Project, the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Education, represented by the Commissioner Sarah Bugosi, highlighted efforts to address the issue of low performance among students with disabilities. The permanent secretary of the Ministry of Education is planning for a meeting, a stakeholders meeting, where all issues will be discussed and then we shall agree as Ministry of Education and the key stakeholders to see on how we move on to support the teaching and learning of all these learners with disabilities. Faith Kembawazi, Director of Children at Risk Action Network, reported that over 10,000 girls have benefited from the project's closure. We've worked with children off the street, we've worked with refugee children, we've worked with girls who have had babies or first babies or even two babies, but we, they also needed another chance to get into education. We've worked with girls who have dropped out of school because their parents didn't have any money to help the girls. What we need is first to make sure that the, the, we have special needs teachers in, in, all, all, in all schools. And then we also need to make sure that the schools are accessible and safe because if there is no ram, a child will feel bad climbing his stairs and uh, maybe fall off and so forth. Philip Smith, the British High Commission representative in Uganda, pledged to collaborate with the Ministry of Education to ensure girls with disabilities have access to quality education. As a long-standing friend and partner of Uganda, the UK government remains both deeply involved in the education sector in Uganda and committed to working with the Ministry of Education and Sports to enable more girls and more boys to access a quality education. Some project beneficiaries shared their journey and experiences. There is this man, he came home, he was like, he wanted to marry me. By then, but I was so still young, he brought some 500,000 shillings to seduce my mother. I started crying, I told my mother, no, this shouldn't be me. Because I want to be a leader, I want to be someone. After 11 years of operation, the Girls Education Challenge project, which aimed to support girls' access to education, has officially closed, benefiting over 1 million individuals across five districts. Mary Namkose, Andrew Sebira, UBC News.